day, sir. I'm a posh British gentleman, and I'm here to test this very elegant Ford. Alright, don't worry, guys. I'm still here, testing another episode of Radex Lap Attack. The reason I had that British accent earlier is because I'm really jealous of the Brits. You can still buy a GT brand new in that country, whereas here, Ford thought, idiotically, hey, people only want pickup trucks and SUVs. Let's keep doing that. The only car that we'll make is the Mustang. We no longer have the Fusion or the Focus or the Taurus or any of those great cars that Ford made because they thought in 2019 it would be a good idea for some reason to get rid of them all. I remember in Mafia 2, I had this one car that was supposed to be based off of a uh, Ford Custom 300. They called it the Smith Custom 200. And I had the paint job. I couldn't have any stripes on it, of course, but the paint I did choose to put on there was the exact same shade of blue and green that I have right now. When it comes to sports cars, you usually have one or two stripes, but I figured why not try something different, go for three stripes. Getting towards the hill already with just under 30 seconds. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough to beat the Supra. I was really hoping that would be the case, but if the GT can't do it, then I know there's at least one other car before the series comes to an end that may be able to do it. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will give you a hint. It was made by a company I mentioned in the last episode. In the previous episode, I also mentioned an ass car and how many of the um, European car companies took part back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and now... I gotta say, variety has gone downhill ever since. Like, for some reason, people only want Chevy, Ford, and Toyota. I've got nothing against those three cars. I mean, as you can see, I'm driving a Ford right now, but... Why can't we have the exact same variety that we had back then, you know? Like, you look at some of the races that took place, and you can clearly tell it's better than what we have today. I mean, things are starting to get better. We have um, more variety in track designs that don't involve ovals. Nor do we have, like, a, a lack of dirt. I don't know what it is about dirt, but something about that I thought was pretty exciting. Not all the tracks have it, but just seem to slide around in there. Makes it pretty exciting. I mean, you probably could say, hey, why don't you watch Rallycross? But, I mean, I do like Rallycross. But I'm trying to get more car designs out there, you know? Like, I doubt NASCAR is listening, but that's just my opinion. I mean, I know they're trying their ass to do what they can. I even heard they tried getting BMW to join. Unfortunately, they declined. Honda also declined. Dodge may come back. Those are just a bunch of rumors. I guess we'll just have to be patient and see what happens. Could you imagine Jaguar coming back? I, I wouldn't be surprised if they won at least a few more races. Three oh six. We're getting towards the tunnel. pretty nice in here. I don't know what it is about these tunnels, but I always like deepening the lights. I don't prefer they're a bit more orange, but this is good enough. A lot of clouds up in that sky.
I remember a while back I mentioned that it would be nice if you could have a rain feature for all the tracks. You kind of have that in Gran Turismo 7. I mean, it doesn't always rain like you want it to, but when you're out on some tracks for like a mission for the cafe, or one of those missions, or the training things, there are moments where it doesn't rain and then all of a sudden it just pops up out of nowhere. I think that's pretty cool, but like, let's say you want to do a time trial like this, or if you are having a, like an online session with some friends and you want it to rain. It shouldn't matter what track you're on, because both this game and GT7, you can only do it on like two or three tracks. That's it. Well, I'm sure Polyphony will try that out. I'd like to see if they could do uh, something when you go to your garage, like you should be able to buy parts to modify your car there instead of being forced to go all the way to the garage. Because there are things, like some of them look the same. You could buy the same part by accident and give your car less horsepower than you want it to. Alright, so a time of 4 minutes and 40 seconds. We're in 15th. Slower than a Corvette, wow. But faster than a 911. That's not bad. Still, I mean, with all the modifications I did, I saw the transmission go up to like 273 or 280. Really thought we'd have enough power to beat that. But as I said, I know one car, I'm saving it for the very last episode, uh, that may be able to beat the Super. If not, I don't know what this world's coming to. But thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode.